Hi, Christopher. So I've got your ad up here, and I want to take a look at a couple of different things. First of all, you did a good job um, placing the logo so that it looks it looks nice and crisp. Good job placing the vector. And I think you did a pretty good job with the images. I think that we've seen these two images before. I, mean, I, I don't remember seeing this one. Um, regardless, I think it's a pretty good image. I think you're showing way too much foreground in this image. That's just sand. It's just like... You know, there's no information there. There's nothing worthwhile in the whole bottom third of this image here. So I would reconsider that. Um, another thing that you might consider is using a, a, a if you're going to use a two-column grid like this, maybe it would add a lot more um, harmony if these all three of these images were the same size. I think that's really, really going to add some, 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 some. Um, organization, some really nice organization um, to the ad itself. So, and that, that, the next thing I want to mention is that I think there's a lot of competition within the ad itself. Okay, starting with the gradient background, you've got the gradient background and you've got the logo, all right? And then every one of your headlines is roughly, in the beginning area, is roughly the same size and shape as your logo. So you've got direct competition between the logo, this type, this type, and this type. So that's not a good thing. And then you've got these three images as such that your eye just keeps on bouncing back and forth instead of really stopping, taking in the information, moving to the next piece of information, taking it in, moving to the next, taking it in. You just have this constant like ping pong thing going on. And, and, I, and I don't think it's, a, it's, it's as comfortable as it could be. Suggestions for improvement, maybe putting the images in this side and putting the type on this side. Um, I would suggest left aligning the type and, and don't center align it because if you left align it, you'll establish a nice, good um, um, margin. So that would be my, my first suggestion. And then the second suggestion is the word kayak, zipline, and mini sub. They're really, really large in the, in the ad, probably too large. So you may want to reconsider your typographic hierarchy based on scale. Um, other than that, I think a really great way to approach this ad would be to use the, an image as the background, okay, and then place your, your type right in the image. Like so. I'm not going to say any of these would be a suitable image because I don't think any of them would. But typically, I would use something that you would think of as a Caribbean marketing image. And that would be, you know, a, a beach scene or a resort scene, one of the two. And then I would add my type and my um, typography and my information, and my logo, etc. Right on top of that, um, that uh, image. That way you don't have a color background to kind of like, you know, still add more meaning into these, all these different things that you're presenting. Okay, so those are my recommendations. Anyway, it's good job. Um, you followed the recommendations very well. So awesome. Good job. Thanks.